Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Amber the Happy Homemaker. Today I'm bringing to you two new Trash to Treasure projects. This first project that we're going to work on is more of like a rustic boho kind of plant stand or table. Um, these are wood slices that my father-in-law cut from a tree and I just saved a couple of them that he had. I think they were just easier meant to be thrown into the fire or build a fire with with these discs and so I saved a few um, so they wouldn't get burned up. <laughs> so I uh, had a couple stains on there because I used to have this on my table as a centerpiece and just buff those out and now I am taking the Varathane whitewash um, and this is from Home Depot. I got it in the stain aisle and what you do is you just brush it on and you just wipe it off and you, this is buildable so you can do as many coats as you want depending on the lightness that you want of the wood. But I only did one coat of this um, just to kind of brighten it up a little bit so it wasn't so dark. Next I have some of this Dollar Tree decorative rope that I'm going to go around the edges and again because this was it's just a simple piece of wood the bark is kind of falling off on the edges so this kind of hid a lot of those flaws of where the bark was kind of coming off. And because I am going to be using this as a plant stand, um, I wanted to put something in the middle just to kind of, if any water got on um, the rope, it would be fine or in, on the wood. So I wanted to just wrap a center piece, like a circle in the center so my plant would be able to sit on top of that. And again, this is just the nautical or the decorative rope from Dollar Tree that I used for another project but it didn't work. These are also stickers or stencils from Dollar Tree and I decided to use the feathers again just to kind of go for that little boho kind of look. So um, these are adhesive but because this is wood they the first one stuck really good and the rest of them didn't so I had to end up taping them down. But I'm just going to go all the way around um, and just give it that little extra flair that I was kind of going for with the, the boho look. that is what that looked like when all the feathers were on and dry. Now I picked up these table legs from Amazon and I'm just going to, it came in a pack of four but I'm only going to use three of them. This is a pretty large slab so um, I bet I could have used four but I just thought three would look a little better. So I'm just going to secure those with some screws to put on the bottom of them. that is it put together and like I said the plant is going right on the center um, rope and I think it just looks so cute and very rustic just perfect for where I plan on putting it so project number two is I've mentioned this before my dad is a contractor and he um, it's where 
some of my windows have come from in my house and also this door was going to get thrown in the trash and he was like do you have a purpose for this door because <laughs> he knows i like to do different things and decor my house with the old stuff and so of course i did not want him to throw it away so we are going to work on that um i wanted to remove the hardware and then this little shelf um or the piece of wood we are going to turn it into a shelf for the door I'm using the Rust-Oleum Milk Paint in Highland Blue. I love this color. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I do a lot of coastal farmhouse decor in my home. So this blue just matches everything just perfectly. So uh, I decided to go with this color just to pop against the white on the door. Next, I'm going to paint these corvals that I got at our local Goodwill, um, and I got both of these for $1.29 um, for the set. So they're just plain wood, and I'm just going to paint them again with that Rust-Oleum Highland Blue and give those a good coat before we tackle the next step. And I did want to mention that I did end up using the whitewash over top of the Highland Blue. Um, the Varthane whitewash that I used on the first DIY just to lighten it up a bit and give it that more like rustic look or two-tone to it so I did end up going over this and for some reason I did not catch that footage but um, that's what I ended up doing and you can see it in a little bit here but this is just the Waverly chalk paint and I ended up mixing two different colors here to go for the rust in or the distressing that I'm going to be doing on the door um, the so I mixed the nimbus and elephant together to give me um, just a middle tone there to tone middle tone of gray I didn't want it to be too dark and I didn't want it to be too light and what I'm doing is just kind of spotting it on there with the brush and then I've got a damp cloth that I'm just going and kind of blending it into the wood and just kind of smearing it around a bit. that is what the door looked like like when it got distressed and I just love how that turned out um, another step that I didn't show here is I just used a razor blade to get off all the excess paint that were on the glass and now I'm going to hang my corbels on here one on each side I didn't measure anything I'm just kind of going off of the window pane um, the second one down and using that as kind of a template of where to put the um, two on each side. shelf is on there that is what it looks like um, and as you can see the whitewashing just kind of brightened it up really good and I am adding a another <laughs> fake um, doorknob here because I removed the old hardware to it and this is just a fake doorknob and because it is a fake it doesn't line up with any of the wood so the screws weren't going to hit anything if I tried to drill it in so I'm using my sure bonder and just attaching that and this is just more for aesthetic looks um, when I do my decorating I have an idea of what I'm going to do with the doorknob um, but I wanted to make sure I had that on there. So everything is attached and ready to get to decorating. 
and this is how I have it for the moment um, and this is probably not how it's going to stay but I just wanted to show you what you can do with old doors or even windows if you have them lying around just to add them to your decor especially if you do farmhouse decor um, like I do this is just a great idea to put those old things to use so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you comment like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye